And Buck, it was a wild night in the mom revolution against masks that I have been predicting. This is playing out all over the country right now. There are parents who are fed up with their schools, with their school boards, and they have had enough as it pertains to COVID mask requirements. They've had enough as it pertains to critical race theory. And I'm one of those parents. I've got a 13-year-old, I've got a 10-year-old, and I've got a 6-year-old. And I came on, Buck, and you know this, on Friday of last week, we had a first half day of school. They opened up the school, no masks, and everybody could walk in free and clear. It felt 100% normal. Same thing on Monday, same thing on Tuesday. They called an emergency school board meeting, okay? I live in the Nashville, Tennessee area, a county called Williamson County. For those of you who might be somewhat familiar with Nashville, a little bit south of town, Franklin and Brentwood are the two biggest towns that are in that county. It's a highly educated county. It's a place where education matters more than almost anywhere, certainly in the state, and one of the places where education would matter from the purposes of parents being involved, I would imagine almost more than anywhere in the country. Over a 1,000 people showed up for the school board meeting debating whether or not masks should be required. I was fortunate enough as just a parent. I've got a fifth grader and I've got a first grader in public schools. I went to public school myself, K through 12 in Nashville. I got to stand up and speak. We're going to play that for you. And then, Buck, I'm going to talk about the experience. I want you to uh, to be able to weigh in as well. But this is the very foundation of democracy. Go out, if you are a parent, at your local school board and fight for what you believe in. This is where the rubber meets the road. This was me. I got one minute. Here's what it sounded like. Good evening. Uh, I'm Clay Travis. I have two kids in Williamson County Public Schools, fifth grader and a first grader. And you all should be ashamed of the choices that you are about to make. We teach our kids that facts matter. That's why they go to school. The facts are these. Masks don't work. There isn't a single scientific data that has ever proven that masks work. Also, let's talk about risk analysis, which is the key. I feel bad. For all these people walking around in masks, engaging in cosmetic theater, thinking that they are making a difference against COVID, they aren't. Here's the truth. Our kids, under 25-year-old, one in a million chance that they are going to die of COVID. They are more likely to be struck by lightning. They are more likely to be struck by lightning. They are more likely to die of the seasonal flu. Have any of you? ever mandated masks for the seasonal flu, well, shame on you, because every kid in Williamson County Schools has been under more danger from the seasonal flu every year than they are for COVID. I would tell every parent here, don't let your kids Um, wear masks. This is what pushback looks like, and it's going to take a lot more of this. So there we there we go, Clay. You got you got like a standing ovation from the folks uh, that were at the school board meeting. They, I saw the video. I, I shared it last night on Twitter. As soon as I saw it, I mean, this is what we've been talking about for weeks. And and I I had thought for a while now. I actually had, had written at BucksAxon.com about a month or two ago that. It was the pushback against CRT that would be the beginnings of, I mean, we just had the voice of Rush there for a second, the the pushback from the right against the madness of the Biden administration. Now it's starting to seem like it's the pushback against mask mandates in school and CRT training in school, essentially the socialist indoctrination and collectivization of our children all across the country. And, you know, you were in Tennessee. This is a huge fight right now in Florida where Governor Ron DeSantis is saying, if you institute mask mandates, I'm going to cut your pay as an employee of the state. So that's going to be a really interesting one. And it's funny because you're having in Tennessee, finally, what I've been waiting for in New York. And I got to tell you, man, I'm not seeing it. This is what's going to end up happening. You're going to have the red states and the blue states 
And the blue states are desperate to force places like Tennessee, like Texas, like Florida to go along with enough of this stuff, particularly the mask mandates in schools. So there's no control group for the study, so to speak, so that they can't actually look at whether masking in schools does anything per capita and have a definitive answer. Because, Clay, I would I know you're a betting guy. I'm a betting guy sometimes. I would bet a large sum of money that if Florida doesn't have kids masked up in schools, you will see no difference from COVID spread in New York City schools, which are going to be masking up their kids like the lunatics these adults are. The masks don't work, Buck. And and I should give an update on what happened. So, look, sometimes you fight and you don't get the result that you want. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't be fighting. They instituted a mask mandate illogically for kindergarten through fifth grade no other ages will have a mask mandate. Wait, why, why kindergarten through? Why not? What about sixth graders? I hear they can be very <laughs> dirty. Uh, yeah. Uh, so the argument is because 12 year olds and up can get the COVID vaccine now that the, basically it's illogical, right? Because kindergarten through fifth grade are actually the kids that if you are worried about kids and the virus, the younger the kid is, the less significant of an impact it is. The reality is no matter who you are, uh, and in school, you are under more danger driving to and from school of death than you are from COVID. So they implemented this now K through five mask mandate. And I don't know what the next step is, but I will tell you this, Buck. And I, I posted the video because you were like, we were texting and you were like, hey, get some videos, like show what it looks like there. So I walked out. I mean, you could see this is a mom driven revolution, Buck. And here's why. Because moms when we said hey we need two weeks to stop the spread they took it on their shoulders when the kids got out of school you know this anybody who has got a kid moms bear so much more of the child rearing responsibilities and moms across the country and dads too i'm one of them right i'm a dad i'm fed up but i think moms uniquely are driving this fight all over the country because they're looking at the data and they are saying there is no legitimate basis to require my kid to wear a mask and the mama bears out there are furious. And I was texting with some friends, Buck. I think this has the potential to be a Tea Party-like revolution led by moms out there. And if you look at the data, the place where elections are decided is the suburbs, right? That's where Trump had his failures as it pertained in 2020. He lost white moms. He lost white dads. That's the issue. That's the rub of the road here. And I think... These are the people that are the most fed up about these mask mandates. And what I saw last night, Buck, it had the feelings of a groundswell. And look, right, but Clay, we got a problem, buddy. We got a problem, but which, is that, which is that this school district still went with mask mandates, even with all these well, people showing up. Sometimes right? you so, lose. Right. right? So, so, so let's be clear. Like, like this is we're talking about it like this is the beginnings of it. But we're up against a determined adversary here there's no doubt with the apparatus of control that the democrats no the teachers unions have i mean think about it this way my man you know there are there are more republicans in new york city than there are in some states right i mean you know when, yeah. when you look at the way that the distribution goes across the country and yet you're gonna have people that are forced to go along with this i mean if what i'm saying is if in tennessee you're having school districts, not even in Nashville, which already is doing masking, but in Williamson County. I think everyone needs to understand they're doing this to people. That, they're so close right now, Clay, to getting mask mandates reinstituted in Texas. Texas is on. I was talking to somebody close to Abbott's office. Texas is under a lot of pressure right now. So while I'm happy and I'm like, yeah, we got I just want everyone to know. We're defending on our 10-yard line. Oh, We're not th- about to run into their end zone. Th- th- there's there's no doubt. But I felt even in losing that vote, uh, that school board, I felt in, in, emboldened and I felt better about things than I have in a long time, seeing how many people were willing to show up and fight this thing. Because you lose some battles, you lose some battles, and then you know what you end up doing? Sooner or later, you find a way to win the war. And so I think we're at, I'm with you, it's frustrating, and I understand how many people out there, uh, I think my county uh, and what went on in that school board is emblematic of what many people are feeling all over this country who are listening to us right now. But I'm telling you, for a long time, people were taking it, and they weren't fighting back. I'm telling you, the revolution has begun. And there are going to be some losses. 
There certainly are going to be some yeah. losses, but this mom revolution is real. But the, the the red states that for a while now, I think, have felt like, oh, we're good. This is a, and that's, now that's I'm a speaking from the blue state perspective, right? Because I'm here in New York, which, by the way, masks are back in my building now. Mandated. I don't yes. wear them, but they're back in my building. Mask mandates are back in not only in schools, of course, here, but also in about half the businesses. I went to get a cup of coffee this morning. Guess what? They said, put your mask on. It's great. They got the plexiglass things. Come. The oh, plexiglass Jesus. things I know. may be the dumbest because there, no one actually thinks that those do. I mean, there, there's no study. There's no data. Oh but God. people put them it up there. True. It is their little security and safety blanket. It's their little blankie that they grab like a little kid to make them feel safe. And Clay, it, it's I, I think people don't realize right now, DeSantis and and uh, and Governor Abbott specifically are under immense pressure from the media apparatus. Now, I don't think they're going to bend the knee, but that's where we are right now. They've created so much fear. No one looks at the death data. They're only looking at cases and hospitalizations yes. in a very localized sense. So, yeah, the mom revolution is fantastic. But as, as I'm saying, man, we're we're trying to push for something that is it's crazy that we're even in this place. And right now, you're you're talking about a Biden administration that's discussing a federal across the board school mandate. So well, for everyone out there who thought that I'm in a red state, it's going to be OK. I told I warned people just like I knew Fauci was the worst person ever. I warned them and said, this White House is not done with you, Texas. This White House is not done with you, Florida. And it's not. Well, it's here's not what I will bit. say. I am optimistic, and I understand people out there like, you're optimistic. I tend to be an optimist, right? My wife is, I drive her crazy by being an optimist all the time. But I'm hearing from a lot of my friends, liberal, left-wing friends that I went to law school with, and Buck, their kids are not getting to go to school still. Their kids are having to wear masks, and they are fed up. And these are people who might have been interested in Bernie Sanders. They might have been interested in Hillary Clinton. They've donated money to those people. I wonder, I'm man, the, you. the social pressure to conform with this stuff. I mean, they may tell you that because they know that Clay is a safe space. But 